Hello and welcome to episode 14 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to show you a more advanced way of using tags in Evernote. And I'm going to have to confess that this is my version of Enrico Naylor's uh, Todoist system. Uh, sorry, Todoist system. I mean Evernote system that he did when he did a video for Francesco D'Alesso's YouTube channel. And I will put a link to that in the notes below so you can actually watch that video and get a better idea of how this Eric Enrico's tagging system works. Now, I find this system fantastic because when I am processing my inbox, it makes it so much easier for me to, to create tags or have tags that are all relative to one another. So first of all, let me show you uh, how my tags uh, are looking up. So uh, if I go into my projects list, for example, what I've done is I've got these, I suppose, if you like, stacked tags, which are linked to the main project called at projects. So uh, the actual main at projects has no lay no tags in it, but all the other tags have uh, the word project, then dash, and then whatever it relates to. So these are the projects that I'm working on. And if you remember, uh, in Todoist, I only uh, in Todoist I will keep my active projects, but in Evernote, they can be active or inactive projects. It doesn't really matter to me because this is really my project support system, not my task system, if that makes sense. Anyway. So what I've done here is I've created some subtasks or some uh, stack task, uh, tasks, tasks, late tags. So we've got projects and then dash business creative project dash uh, check in. And then over here, I, for example, interests, we've got uh, all my interests down here. Blah, 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 blah. And again, I've got interest dash and then the name of the person. Now, the good thing is it doesn't really matter whether you use capitalization or little letters. It really doesn't matter. Personal, again, I've got all my um, personal information and stuff that I want to keep for personal reference. And I have my reference one, which is all to do with many, many different things that I would be particularly interested in and may want to call up at any time. Now, why am I stacking them like this? So let me show you why this is such a good idea. If I go into my inbox, I have uh, yesterday I um, I checked in, I, I sent to Evernote this particular sweater from a company that I really, really like, which is um, John Smedley. They make some fantastic um, knitwear and many other things. Uh, but anyway, this is not an advert for John Smedley. So here we have a note. Now this is to do with clothing and I'm thinking about perhaps buying this sweater instead of another sweater that I have my eye on. So uh, this for sure is going to be a personal reference, uh, goes into my personal reference notebook. But when I come to tagging, uh, I know that my purchases are in my someday maybe task. So all I have to do is type S and look what happens. I now get a drop down menu of all the tags that are related to purchases. Now I have, as I say, I know where things I want to buy go into my someday maybe folder under the tag purchases. So I can double click on that and I now have that in there and I can now add that to the, to the notebook that I would, which is general reference. Again, double tag on that. Now if I go into my tags, I can go into my someday maybe, I can go into my purchases here and sure enough, that Bobby um, sweater or the John Smedley sweater is now in there under the tag purchases. And this is the reason why I think this this system that, as I say, I got from Enrico Naylor is absolutely fantastic because it creates a drop down menu for any of the notes that you actually have in your inbox. So when you come to processing your inbox, it makes the whole process so, so easy. So, how do we stack a tag? Let's look at, if we look down here, I have a, a tag all on its own called Notes, which has been created by an application, I think, because that's not necessarily a stack that I would use or a tag that I would use. So let's use that note as a sample. 
So what I would do is I would have I would start off with note notes then dash then let's say business. So now I've created a tag called notes dash business. What I would do then is just like we did with the notebooks is just drag and drop it on top of the notes. So now when I open that I can have notes dash business. Let's create a new tag and I'll call this notes dash and then uh, personal. Okay and that will because it's all set up in alphabetical order that actually drops so you're gonna have to keep an eye on these and just drop it on top of the main heading and then we've got there so now in notes I've got two so I've got notes business notes personal and that is essentially all you have to do to create this stacking system really really easy now once again if you really are interested in this tagging system I strongly recommend that you check out Enrico's video it is really good and it goes into a lot of detail about how to organize your tags and indeed organize your notebooks and although my system is not 100% the same as Enrico's um, I have to admit that I got a lot of my ideas from watching that video it was fantastic so I hope you found this little episode useful uh, don't forget uh, we have a Facebook group called Productivity in Tech. It's run by a wonderful guy called Jay Miller. Um, check out the Facebook group. Uh, well, you're going to have to apply to join, but please join our Facebook group. There's some amazing people in there, including Enrico, Jay, Francesco, myself, many, many other people in there who are always willing to help you out with any questions that you might have and also recommend some really, really interesting applications out there to make you even more productive. So, thank you again for watching this little video. I hope you found it useful. Join me again in episode 15. And I, for the rest of the time, I wish you all a very, very productive week.